What's going on guys, we're back to some more Dragon Ball Z Dokken Battle videos on the Japanese version and we are here today to awaken the God, our Savior, the Immortal God himself, Merge Zamasu guys. I pulled him quite a while ago but I was waiting to get his essay up to 10 and uh, we finally did that and boy was it a fucking pain. Um, where is he? Uh, here he goes Zamasu man, it was a fucking pain to get his essay up because it's not that the drop rate of the SSR um, cards that you feed into him was bad, but I would literally feed five of them into him and get no SA up. Like, I probably fed upwards to 40 friggin' physical Zamasus to get his SA up to 10. Like, it was, it reminded me of Buhan. Buhan was disgusting. Like, you had the drop rate of Buhan, uh, the, the base SSR strength Buhan that you could feed into, uh, the intelligence god leader Buhan to raise the SA, and it literally would take forever for you to get one SA from. Three to five Buhan. You know what? Oh, that that was a fucking pain in the ass. I don't want to deal with it. Anyway, so Zamasu himself. Um, let's actually go over his base stats, like I always do, and then we'll go over his Dokken Awakening stats. Now here he is, guy. He is somewhat of a god leader, kinda. He's like a demigod leader. Uh, currently not in his uh, non Dokken form. He can't do shit, but Lisha ability, HP attack and defense, sixty percent up only for extreme types, meaning villain. So. Villains, if you don't know, Mega Shinron, um, you know, uh, the Goku Blacks, Boo Hans, uh, some of the Boos, because we have uh, Majin Boo, who's a good, uh, some good Boos, some Majin Boos are fucking good. Uh, Omega Shinron, you know, you get it, villains. So, yes, and then he, he uh, lowers defense when he does a super. Uh, passive, 15% down for all super allies, meaning if I have Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks in the same lineup with him, He'll reduce his attack by 15%. It is what it is. Uh, his attack is 100% up when performing a super. Or I think it's just 100% up, you know, for, for any attack. So he can do a normal attack. It's actually 100% up as well. And uh, pretty good links, uh, big bad bosses, dismal future. So let's go ahead and awaken him and then we'll go over his stats. In the awakened form, guys. So here he is, guys. 77 medals to awaken the immortal god himself. Merge Zomasu, and I've been wanting to do this for a while. Really want to awaken this damn guy. Uh, pretty excited, pretty friggin' excited if I do say so myself to have this card. Originally, I really wanted to pull the trunks. I really was honestly gunning for that damn trunks, but it didn't happen. And um, I'm kind of glad that I pulled Zomasu above him because, you know, I see more value in Zomasu, I really do. Although I don't have uh, Super Saiyan Rose Goku Black. Zamasu does have a bit more value now. His leadership ability goes up to one key, HP attack and defense, 70% for uh, extreme types, meaning all villains. He now greatly reduces his defense when he performs a super. And instead of a 15% reduction to all super allies, it's only a 10% reduction, which really isn't that bad. You can technically run him on a tech team. Uh, of course, you're going to have the majority of them being villains like, you know, Golden Frieza, uh, Tech Cell. Um, so you can run him on a tech team, but you know if Gotenks is in the same lineup with him, then he's gonna suffer a 10% reduction. Which honestly, Gotenks could Gotenks is friggin' clutch. Like he could get reduced by 10% damage and still be friggin' awesome and friggin' amazing because if he's maxed out SA10, he he could still do over a million damage. Like Gotenks is that amazing. Okay, he's friggin' awesome. So 10% isn't gonna kill Gotenks, but if you have other um cards like let's say the uh, tech uh, Super Saiyan God Goku. If you have a uh, Whis, if you have Beerus inside there, then they will suffer because 10% to them is, you know, somewhat substantial. Um, his attack goes up uh, from 100% to 120%, so he gets a 20% boost when he performs any attack, and he gets the uh, Fierce Battle Link, so he's friggin' disgusting. Friggin' amazing, so let's see if we can get him up to level 90 to 100. And I'm actually going to be doing the Trunks event with him to see... If how good he really is. Uh, very curious to run him on the team. Very curious to see how strong he is and what he can really do. Now I'm going to feed him some of these characters here that are maxed out. Uh, I typically have some characters that are maxed out just for feeding and training. Because it just makes life a lot easier. I guess that's all the cards that I have. Uh, give him these stupid um, uh, cell genius. So we have 42 levels right there. Let's see if we can give him some... Pretty good training items to max him out. Um, I doubt we're going to max him out, but we're... Oh, wow. I don't have any Z-Sword. Okay, well. Give him some Turtle Shells. Uh, give him three of those. And then I guess we'll give him some Z-Swords over here. Uh, 84 levels. And then we'll give him a two times increase. 
and uh, 100, level 106, right off the back. So pretty freaking amazing, pretty freaking awesome. That's almost maxed out, right off the freaking back. So always have your spirit characters laying around. Always have um, turtle shells laying around because they will come in handy when you need to max out a character. So pretty good, pretty good, pretty amazing, pretty freaking awesome. I probably could get a couple more levels up, but I don't really want to push it because uh, I am running low on training items. Very, 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 very low. Uh, I don't know if I could uh, push it anymore. Um, I, I don't want to give him any training items from other... Uh, let's see how much to get from that. Uh, three. No, that's fine. I'm not going to give him any more training items. Uh, so that's the Immortal God. That is Zamasu. Let's actually take him through the dupe system just a little bit. Let's kind of do some dupe system stuff with him. I uh, saved some tech orbs specifically for him. Because I definitely wanted to run him through the system. So I was holding off on giving Gotenks any more abilities just so I can run Zamasu. So let's do a couple dupe system stuff with him and then we're going to we're gonna have some gameplay with him. I don't know if I mentioned that already but we're going to have some gameplay. Uh, doing the uh, Future Trunks event. And uh, we're going to see... How strong he really freaking is now he's not maxed out level he's he's on um, what is it 11 levels away from being 120 but we will get a good idea what kind of damage he will do and I'll probably bring a Super Saiyan Rose uh, Goku Black friend to link with him so he can get all his links active um, Super Saiyan Rose and the uh, strength of Zomasu is preferably who you want to link with him or Goku Black I don't have Goku Black but I do have the strength of Zomasu but he's not awakened so He'll probably be missing the fierce battle link, which kind of sucks. But you know, we'll get the um, we'll get the idea of what he can really do. Now, this is pretty good. This is pretty awesome right here. Pretty good progress. Uh, the goal right now is to get the uh, critical hit over there. So I'm going to try to cover as much of this as possible. And then after getting the critical hit, I'm going to focus on getting his SA up a little bit. The um, uh, sorry, I got a bit of a cold, but uh. Yeah, raising the uh, super attack power. Uh, so, pretty good stuff happening here. Now, my villains on this account is not that great. I really don't have that many villains. I have Buhan. Um, I'm working on the LR Frieza. I technically have the LR Androids, but they're, they're not awake. And I have all the metal sitting there for them. But I'm trying to get them to SA-10 before... Well, first of all, hashtag fuck the Androids because... Just fuck all the Androids, but... You know, I could awaken the other androids right now if I wanted to, but they're in SA5. I don't want to get into SA10 before I awaken them. So, you know, I, I just want to get them up to SA10. I mean, it makes sense. Like, I don't want to awaken them now and then I have to reverse doken them and all this shit. And I, I just want to get the SA up and then awaken them right off the back. So we got the critical hit. Pretty nice. Pretty freaking amazing. Pretty freaking cool, guys. And now we're going for the um, super attack increases right here. Uh, I definitely pretty curious to see what kind of critical hit damage he'll do because he's an SA-10 like I said and we are going to be bringing him on the um, Trunks event which he has an advantage over because they all um, have a pretty good increase with the uh, Dismal, Fu Dismal Future link. So there we go. So pretty good right off the back with the grid. Uh, so I'm going to leave it right there. So that is it guys. So we awaken our Lord and Savior, friggin' the Immortal God himself, Merge Zamasu, guys. So, sorry, I got a bit of a cold, like I said, sorry about that. But please stay tuned for the next video. We're going to be using him in a team. We're going to try to format some villain team. Like I said, I don't have good villains. Like, I don't have Omega Shinron. I don't have Broly. Um, I don't have Android 13. Fuck the Androids, but I don't have him. I don't have Janine, but there's a lot of villains that I don't have. So, I'm not going to be able to make the best team in the world, but I'm going to do the best I can to showcase... How good he is by putting a team together that somewhat complements him. So stay tuned for that, guys. Thank you for watching this video. Please like, share, comment down below, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.